Doing good. All right. So Ellie is going to come up here and he's going to fucking destroy it for you guys. He's going to bring the fucking house down. So please prepare yourself for that. So let's give him a team capital slow clap right now and bring his ass up here. You're all good little boys. <laughs> yes, you are. Do what I can. Mmm. <laughs> Sitting there, doing as you're told. Mm hmm. Because that's what you've been taught from the time you were babies. We had a child in here yesterday, and immediately the energy was. Shut that baby up, because we have no room for spontaneity. We have no room for noise. We have no room for life. Baby grows a little bit older. He wants to touch things. He wants to jump on things. He wants to run. He might want to break something, because it's fun to break shit. And what does he get? Sit down. Shut up. Don't touch. Don't move. Little by little, you begin to not trust yourself. I want to move. I want to touch. I want to feel something. I want to laugh. I want to cry. But it's inappropriate. So those feelings come up, whether they be true, meaning coming from your authentic self, because sometimes you're supposed to cry. Sometimes you're supposed to be fucking pissed off. You have the goddamn right to be. Your God-given right to be pissed off. It's your right to laugh. It's your right to cry. It's your right to feel. It's right to explore the world through your body. And then we get education. We value education in all these books. Well, what's the first step in education? Realizing that you need it at all times. When you go to school, how do we operate? You sit in rows. You shut your mouth, and you raise your hand. So little by little, you become numb to the feelings in your body. Little by little, you begin to distrust the feeling in your body. Little by little, your authentic self deteriorates. And in its place is a head full of dictates, a head full of ideas, a head full of knowledge and a dead, dormant body. Now, where is life experienced? This is your being. Where is life experienced? Is it experienced in the realm of ideas? Or is it experienced in the realm of sensation? You see? I got a lot of questions over the past few days from some of you. I'm thinking of one gentleman in particular. That I can't answer for you because I would be enabling and perpetuating the exact same pathology that the world has given you and that you've become addicted to. 
There is nothing I can tell you. There's nothing I can teach you. I have no information. I have liberation. Liberation is an experience, not an idea. When you fill your head with more ideas, and then it comes time to act, action is done through the body, but instead, because your bodies are all very dormant, they're all very dead, they're all very good boy oriented, you go back to your head. I thought it was interesting earlier this weekend, Someone asked, when and how do I touch a woman? You can't calculate sex. You can't think your way into bed. And you're not fucking anybody with your knowledge. It is in your body. You've got to get out of your head. What is the symbol for a crazy person? What are we taught to do? Bring in information, spit it back out. I got the idea, how can I regurgitate it? Never in our education are we taught how to integrate mind with body. Intelligence, now, intelligence is a holistic aspect of intellect, instinct, and intuition. We have to integrate the three, your head, your heart, and your balls. We are living in a culture and we are operating from a space of worshiping the head and ignoring the heart. But yet, science has told us that the heart has the largest electromagnetic field in the body. In fact, I've heard it said, this is yoga woo-woo stuff, but still, that the heart is more powerful than a thousand suns. But yet, we go to the intellect and ignore our intuition. We, you, there is no intuition because the minute intuition arises, you negate it with a fact. You're not fucking with facts. So today, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to invite you into a practice of liberation. It's going to be very uncomfortable. We talk a lot about getting out of our comfort zone. Well, we're not going to talk about this. We're going to fucking do it. Fuck yes. I'm going to introduce you to Osho Dynamic Meditation. This is a practice by which we get back into our body through deep cathartic breathing because your body is fueled by breath and spontaneous movement, grounding and presence. We're going to get back into our bodies and it's going to be a challenging journey because your bodies are stifled. It's not your fault, like Jay would have said earlier. You've been taught this. So we're going to un teach it, we're going to undo it, and we are going to express ourselves from our authentic selves. So here are the first three things I need you guys to do. The first is I'll offer you a warning and an invitation, an open-hearted invitation, an authentic invitation from me. If you're unable or unwilling to get uncomfortable, physically uncomfortable, emotionally uncomfortable, you are going to feel things. Part of the problem with feeling things is that you got to process it. What I'm going to do with you, what we're going to do here today is going to bring up feelings. It's going to bring up sadness, perhaps, for some of you. It's going to bring up repressed joy for some of you. It's going to bring up anger for some of you if you're fully engaged. 
So if you're unable to be fully engaged with the process that we're going through, no judgment on you. Within the next few minutes, you'll have an opportunity to silently sneak out the room because we will not have anybody in here who's not fully engaged. If you remain in this room, it's because you are committed to being fully engaged because those of us who are going hard don't need spectators and judges amongst us. We're about this. Again, no judgment. I get it. This is tough. So you will silently sneak out the room. And here's your opportunity to sneak out the room because we're all about to get up and move some things around. How much, how much time have I been speaking so far? How much time do we have left? Too long, you're wasting my time. Let's stand up. Grab your things, grab the chair that was under your ass, and if there was an empty chair next to you, grab it too. If we could have the, the JC geniuses move this white thing so you guys can take your chairs and get them out of the way. If there are chairs over there, you could perhaps move them over to the slide. We need room.